May bago na naman si Honor. Ano yan? Honor 90? Teka, teka, teka. Parang kakalabas na ng Honor 90 ah. Tingin, pati, pati. Ah, Honor 90 Light. Hindi mo nabasa to. Oh. May light na dito nakasun sa ibabaw oh. So ito pala sinasabi nyo, more affordable variant ng Honor 19. Na para ma-afford ng mga gusto makatry ng Honor 19 on a tight budget. And balita ko nga, budget friend dito. Malalaman natin right after this quick intro. So hi guys, I'm Pastor Richmond ng Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. Itong Honor 90 Lite and meron siyang ano, no, uh, 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gig of storage. Mura siya guys, 12,990. So itong phone na ito is more affordable and yet medyo may mga specs siya na carry over from the Honor 90 at a more budget na price point. But of course, bago sa lahat, buksan mo na natin para makita natin kung ano ang maitsura na phone na ito. So the use of makita natin yung box niya, plain white, clean na clean ang kanyang packaging. So pagbukas natin, kita natin the phone outright is here. So tanggalin mo na natin. So may SIM ejector pin tayo, documents, jelly case, type C cable. Ito surprising, meron siyang USB-C to audio jack na dongle. And of course, ang kanyang 22.5 watts na on or supercharged na charging brake. And shoot, ito ka ng color blue, no? Tawag niya dito is cyan lake color, which I think looks quite nice naman. And meron siya mga rays dito na pag nailawan. And ang likod niya is matte finish, so definitely no fingerprints, no? So, kita natin dito sa likod, nandiyan ang kanyang triple camera setup, starting with a 100MP na main camera sensor. And ang kanyang front-facing camera is a 16MP na selfie shooter. Hindi ganun kalaki ang kanyang punch hole. And what's nice dito sa kanya is ang kanyang bezel is quite thin ha, para sa isang budget phone like this one. Medyo mas makapal lang sa ilalim but overall itong phone na ito as in 94% na screen to body ratio. So meaning ang laki ng screen na itong phone na ito buong buo iyong iyo ang screen. So sa ilalim kita natin ang kanyang loudspeaker, type C port of course ang kanyang microphone. On the other side kita natin ang fingerprint scanner niya or power button. And of course, ang ganyang volume rocker. Medyo nakikiuso rin sila kay Xiaomi. So, kita natin meron na rin sila IR blaster. And of course, ang ganyang noise cancer. And of course, andyan ang ganyang SIM tray on the other side. Quickly, susundutin ko lang. And ayan guys, dual na 5G nano SIM. Sayang no, wala siyang micro SD expansion. So, itong phone na ito features a MediaTek Dimensity 6020. It's a 7 nanometer chip and it is 5G capable. So, imagine... Having a phone na sa 12,000 pesos with a 5G capability and with all of the good specs dito. Normally, sa ibang brands, you will be seeing yung mga price from ganito, halos 4G pa lang. But si Honor, 5G na binibigay sa inyo. So, guaranteed yan. And another guarantee nila is meron kang working na Google Play Store dito sa phone na ito. So, so running some benchmark dito sa Honor 90 Lite. Medyo okay naman ka na score, no? Near half a million points. So, nakuha natin is around mga 413,000 na score dito sa Antutu Benchmark. And nung binreakdown natin, this is the score na nakuha ko. So, nung nilagay natin sa Wildlife Extreme Stress Test, nakuha tayo na 97.6% ang kanyang stability, which is not really that bad. So, kung interested ka malamang ka ng score dito sa Geekbench, this is what I got sa CPU. And this is what I got sa GPU. And this is a good news, no? Nung sinalang ko sa thermal throttling test for roughly mga 5 times, no? So, first, hindi ako masyado naniwala kasi sinabi na dito, no thermal throttling detected. So, sabi ko, inulit ko several times and still the same result which looks pretty nice para sa MediaTek Dimensity na 6020. Now, right now, we're checking kanya display, watching some videos dito. And this one has a 6.7 inch na LTPS na LCD. Like I said kanina, meron siya 94% na screen to body ratio. And it has a 90Hz na screen refresh rate. So, meaning you can swipe very smoothly dito across real shorts uh, on different na online social media na platforms. So, enjoyable talaga mag-swipe dito sa phone na ito. Guaranteed. And did you know itong phone na ito, hindi lang naman 90Hz screen refresh rate na meron niya. Meron siya yung mga eye protection na meron sa Honor 90 dito sa phone na ito. Meron siya dynamic dimming, meron din siya circadian night display technology, and of course, TUV Rainland certificate para sa low blue light. 
para mas protected ang iyong mata while watching yung phone for quite long hours. So I did try to watch some videos dito sa phone na ito. I would say na sobrang sarap ng manood dito. Even though that this is not a AMOLED display, but ang kanyang display is not really that bad. Ah. Looking at it, yung mga colors naman niya are quite okay. Not the sharpest, but I would really tell you na ang kanyang display is pretty nice and okay na okay kasi 94% na kanyang screen to body ratio. So almost boom boom ang screen. And I'm pretty sure na mag enjoy ang boom bar ka na dito. Now, since itong phone na ito only has one loudspeaker and it's hidden down here, wala siyang second loudspeaker dito. No? Probably, it's because of a more budget constraint na phone. But gusto ko lang i-test no, yung sounds niya, kung kamusta naman ang sounds niya using the loud firing speaker dito na sa ilalim. So, pakinggan natin to. So yung sounds niya, apparently hindi siya ganong kalakas. Katamtaman lang, probably more of the weaker side rather than the uh, stronger side. If you're rating it from uh, 0 to 100, ang kanyang sounds, probably I'll be giving it at mga 45. No? But of course, pwede kayo gumamit ng favorite headphones and uh, earphones since meron naman siyang dongle na kasama sa band. So itong phone na ito has a 4,500 mAh battery and kaya na mag-charge up to 22.5 watts. So dinayin ko naman itong phone na ito and chinarge natin from 10 to 100. It takes me around mga 72 minutes to complete the full charging cycle. Dahil medyo mas malitin ka ng battery so medyo mas mabilis ang kanyang charging time. So pretty not bad na. 72 minutes. So I've been using the phone na ito for quite some time already. Siguro halos mga two, mag two weeks na ito sa akin. And using as my daily driver itong phone na ito, kayang-kaya na magtagal sa akin ng two days without charging. And sa sobrang kunat itong phone na ito, niran ko ang battery stress test dito sa phone na ito. Having a 50% of brightness and 60 hertz screen refresh rate. And look, nakuha ko near 18 hours na screen on time ang kaya na ibigay sa akin dito. Which means, this can last you for two to two and a half days on normal usage. As long as di ka nag-heavy gaming dito sa phone, no? kayang-kaya na magtagal just for you. So, naglaro din akong dalawang game dito sa phone na ito, trying out Call of Duty Mobile and Farlight 84. One surprise thing dito sa akin is meron siyang game manager. So, kita natin dito, every time na naglalaro ka, pwede mo swipe from the upper left corner, makukuha mo ito. Uh, you can switch between balance or game mode. So, pag nilagay mo sa game mode, mas okay ang performance definitely dito sa phone na ito. But expect it to be a little bit more warmer when you're gaming. So, sa Call of Duty Mobile, this is the best graphical settings na pwede mo makuha. And the gameplay is okay for me. Probably not one of the best phones na nalaro ko at this price point, but the gameplay was okay. The touch response was quick. And of course, ang kanyang screen is definitely good kasi buong-buo halos akin na akin ang screen dahil sa kanyang 94% na screen to body ratio. And probably nabitin lang talaga ako sa sound. So you really have to put on your headphones para makapakinggan mo ang footstep ng mga iyong mga kalaban. Nung nilaro ko ng mga Farlight 84, sinet ko sa all high settings, dalagang mafe-feel mo maglalag siya. No? But nung bit once na binaba ko siya sa a little bit more medium graphical settings, ayun, medyo mas naging playable siya. Okay naman siya. Not the best na na-try ko dahil probably the Diamond City 6020 is not really meant for heavy gaming but it can play. So, pasyalan natin ang kanyang camera right now guys. So, itong phone na ito has a triple camera setup starting with a 100MP na main camera sensor with an aperture of 1.9 and 5MP na wide and depth camera with a aperture of 2.2 and ang kanyang macro lens is a 2MP na aperture 2.4. Tapos sa harap is a 16MP na shooter and both camera can record video up to 1080p and 30fps both sa harap and sa likod. Now, if you're looking at some of the outdoor shots na nakuha ko, I would say pretty decent naman ang mga shots na nakuha ko. Not probably one of the best at its price point. I would say na way better si Honor 90. But this one can hold up sa mga pictures na tinatry ko. No? And some of the uh, shots ko on outdoors are sharp. And there are times na medyo nagmimiss siya, nagblur siya konti. And taking the camera on a indoor low light condition, some of them are pretty okay. And some of them are medyo mapapansin mo blur out siya konti. Medyo nahirapan siya konti sa low light condition. And taking some sunset shots, I would say okay lang naman siya. Hindi naman siya sobrang breathtaking pag tinignan mo. No? Okay lang naman siya. Just normal. So ginamit ko rin itong camera niya for ultra wide shot. Normal shot. And two times zoom shot. Okay na okay pa naman siya. Very clear pa naman up to two times zoom. 
taking some photos the mga Christmas decors. I would say okay na okay rin siya, no? I mean, it's really nice to be able to capture some photos na meron mga Christmas decors, no? Especially when you're taking a look sa mga may ilaw, no? For this Christmas. This one is pretty nice, tong snowman na ito. And kung mapapansin nyo tong Christmas lights na nakuha ko, medyo mapapansin mo, medyo mas blown out lang yung mga ilaw niya. Now, taking a look at some of the selfie photos na nakuha ko on outdoor condition, pretty nice. Okay na okay mga shots na nakuha ko. Poging pogi, no? And of course, taking some of the indoor shots naman, okay lang naman siya. Probably not the best selfie camera for indoors na na-try ko, but definitely can give you some really nice shots naman given na medyo okay ang lighting. But kung medyo madilim, medyo madilim din ang makukuha mo. Now, checking some videos using the front-facing camera, medyo shaky, but the quality is just okay, not one of the best. And checking some videos using its rear camera, okay naman ang kanyang resolution, probably not the best dahil it's a little bit shaky din as well. Now, overall, the phone na ito is definitely a budget-friendly one dahil you get all of the goodness dito sa phone na ito. Makuna na kanyang battery, maganda nga ng design, okay ang kanyang camera, and of course, panalo rin ang kanyang screen-to-body ratio at 94%. All of that for Club 990, itong Honor 90 Lite 5G. So guys, if you want to know kung saan nyo pwede mabili itong phone na ito, I'll be linking everything on the description box below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, hit your bell icon para nyo nyo yung future uploads here from my channel. And so, ako para sa Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. Watch out! Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.